don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. <laughs> What's good, Stella King? It's your boy Blast, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today I'm coming at y'all with another banger, banger, banger. Yeah, it got me. I know y'all seen the last video about the situation that happened with Sosa, I mean Coca, I said Sosa, Envy Kane, y'all seen what happened with him, you know what I'm saying, he got robbed in Atlanta or whatever, well now, today, this happened, well, it didn't happen yesterday, but I dropped my video yesterday and it was popular to a lot of people yesterday, but apparently the whole robbery happened a few days ago but anyway today now a lot of people that are associated with envy kane have went live to speak on a situation i don't know if it's the situation with the robbery that made them feel a way that made them decide that they wanted to make this live or go live about the situation but anyway Long story short, SPMB Bills made a post on Instagram and said, I want to, let me get it word for word so I don't make up anything. He said, MV Kane is no longer twirl. He's a dub from GD2. All my twirls know the vibe. So for the jail niggas that was talking, they only MV Kane K. Keep it like that. I don't know who he's talking about for the jail niggas. They said for the jail niggas that said it was MV King. Keep it like that. Repeat, Coca Jigger, not Twirl. Right? So SPMB spoke out about the situation and he's saying that MV King is not folk anymore. So now I'm wondering what is the reason that that he made his post and saying that he not folk? You feel me? Is it the robbery that made him say he not folk? Or is it something else from inside their circle? They got into an argument. Maybe Bills reached out to Envy Kane about him being robbed. And Envy Kane probably was still upset about the situation and responded a certain type of way. And I guess ranking took place where niggas say, feel like, yo, nigga, I hold more weight than you. I got more status than you. You talking crazy. Whoop, whoop. And... The masculinity took over things and niggas got into an argument to the point where this happened or is this because of the robbery like i said i also um seen coach the ghost go live and speak about the situation with some other dudes they had guns in their hand talking about they can do what they want in atlanta and you know shit you know I ain't, I ain't here to be on no Vlad TV shit, you feel me? They already did what, they already said what they said. So I will put the clips in the video somewhere so that y'all can see what they said and shit. And I'm not going to try to elaborate too much on the situ on that specific topic because, you know, if you, speak, if you say too much, it could get a little bit incriminating, especially when you know a lot of shit. When you know about certain shit, like probably I might just mistakenly say too much so i don't want to say too much so i'm not going to really elaborate on that part too much you feel me i actually reached out to spmb bills and try to find out more about the situation and what caused the situation but i haven't gotten any response from him you feel me i just want to be professional about the shit. i don't want to be one of those niggas that see a topic and jump on it because it got clout behind it but then bring out fake news and then later on it comes out that this news is fake and there's more truth to other news. You get what I'm saying? And another thing also about the Envy Kane robbery, someone claiming that they were in Envy Kane's camp told me that he didn't actually get robbed. He left his hotel. I guess they was they was lacking and somebody was praying. And when he left his hotel room and went wherever he went, someone got into his hotel room and stole his belongings. Well they didn't just get in the hotel room. There was room service cleaning the room and they pretended as if 
they were sleeping in the room. I guess the room service probably saw a bunch of different niggas going in and out that room. So they probably believed and let him in. I'm saying probably because that's what the person told me. I don't know how true that is. You feel me? So don't quote me on it, but I'm telling you what I was told. And they said um, there was a laptop in the room and the laptop had MV Kane's um, YouTube channel signed in his email and all that. So they were able to lock him out his own email. But I know there's a two-step verif ver verification. If they don't have your phone, then you could use your, your phone number to get back in your email and change your password. I don't know if they they really good behind the computer and, and switched all of that shit so he couldn't get back on his shit. Because I haven't seen him post. I haven't seen, I, I ain't see him on no other social media neither, no nothing. So what I would have did, me per se, if somebody did something like that with me, I would go live from one of my friends' account who people know that I'm associated with to make sure niggas know my part of the story. This isn't, isn't a Tory Lanez shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot situation and it's a it's it's an ongoing case where you got to be quiet about the situation because you don't want to say nothing to incriminate yourself. It's nothing like that. If you didn't get robbed and somebody sneak thief you, then you could just go on the platform and say, yo, listen, I ain't get robbed. Niggas sneak thief my shit. Because he's saying he couldn't see. He still has his chain. They didn't take his chains or whatever. You feel me? So I don't know. His chain could have might have been in a car. It could have been in a different location when the robbery happened. So I don't know. You feel me? And if it really did happen where he got robbed and this story that they're telling me is made up, it could be, oh, yo, they making up the story because it sounds believable. You feel me? It sounds believable. But at the end of the day, I want to hear from the horse's mouth. When I hear the story from 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 MV Kane, then I would know. Like I I'll pass my judgment on it. Like whether I believe what he's saying is truth or I don't believe what he's saying. And as far as the situation with Bills and them, I'm gonna play the clip right now for you guys actually, so you guys can see the love and the posts and stuff right now. Folks say it's no longer GD. That's it. Or Trump. It's that simple. It's that simple, you heard? So let let let, let me know. And you get what I'm saying? The suicide squad is around. So They're fully act. Whatever I'm saying, whatever games wanna be played. Let's start. Let the games begin. Judge is pretty nice. Very let, nice. Let us, let's communicate. We need communication. Very nice. Judge is pretty nice. Judge is very nice. It's an open state. Come I and love, I love Georgia. I love Georgia. I could do what the fuck I want down here. You heard? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't like Brooklyn, but I, I love the A though. Shout out to the A. But it ain't like Brooklyn, you heard? We love the A. I love the we A. We love it. I'm not leaving. Yeah, this shit. I ain't gonna leave Georgia. That's, that's communication. Until otherwise. We need communication, you heard? For, you know, because you know, we around. So, anybody saying they... Do that Pope says no longer... Feel me? Now that y'all seen that, y'all can make your own judgment. I'm sure a lot of y'all already seen this before that I just posted. And some of y'all, this y'all first time seeing it. Y'all probably don't even know the situation is happening. But nevertheless, I find it crazy that if, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that this situation with them saying he's no longer folk and all that stuff, if that's because he got robbed, I feel like that's some disloyal ass shit. Like for you to just switch on your man and say he not fold no more because he got robbed, that's crazy. Like I would have been on some, you know, trying to defend my man's or or, or or go rob for my man's. You feel me? I wouldn't been on no. Oh nah, you got robbed, so you can't be folk no more because anybody could get robbed. You feel me? If you were tugs in the street and you robbing niggas, and especially if you didn't rob other tugs before, you know it's possible for people to get robbed as long as it's done right. You know what I'm saying? So. If that's why they say he's not folk, I find that that that's crazy. But kids that's watching and that's influenced by the drill scene and shit, y'all got to wise up. Because look how it happens. Imagine you turned folk and you started beefing with all these woo niggas and all these other niggas that have beef with folk niggas. And then you get kicked out and you're not folk no more. Now you're left to fend for yourself and there's no game with you no more. So now you got... Beef with your own mans in them and beef with the ops that you had before that. And you're by yourself right now. It's like kind of like a Aladdin type of situation. You feel me? But shit, he look like he's surviving. He stay out the way. 
feel me? But at the end of the day, I don't think it might be the same shit for Coca because he's somebody that's very verbal and he, he talks a lot of shit. He's very verbal, so I don't know. He did come home on some humble shit. I haven't seen him that much speaking about too many situations or whatever. But I find this shit, I find this situation right here really crazy that they are dropping him out the set just off the simple fact that he got robbed. You know what I'm saying? So it might be something else that happened with them that made them say he's not folk no more. But also there's a fake page. I'm not sure if the page is even fake, but there's a page posing to be MVK and it has about almost 3,000 followers already and it was just made. And that page is saying a lot of things. You feel me? The page is talking shit about um, bills. I, how, how could I listen to a nigga in a wheelchair or a nigga's been riding my dick for years? Whoa, whoa. So I'm gonna also put those in here. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, this might be the reason why all of this is happening. And also, I was I was told that MV Kane's playlist on um, YouTube has a lot of his ops music in it. So, like, GDK Part 3 and Chef G and all this shit is in his playlist. So, they could also be mad about that, but that's, that'd be kind of petty because I'm sure a lot of them actually listen to their ops music. That's how come they know what their ops is saying. But putting in his playlist, I don't know. He might just like the songs. But anyway, if that's what it is, that's crazy too. But then again, I feel like if it's because it's in his playlist right now, how come niggas never saw it before? Feel me? It might just be in his playlist because whoever took his shit and added it to his playlist. You feel what I'm saying? They deleted his music, so they obviously know how to work YouTube. So they could have put that shit in his playlist. And you feel me? That's how it ended up there. So I don't know. You feel me? But I'm going to give y'all an update. This was just a quick video. I'm going to give y'all an update on the situation because more is going to unfold during the week. During the weekend. Well, it's weekend now, so more is going to unfold. And... We're going to see what happens, man. But y'all leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the whole situation. And make sure you get this right here. Last video, y'all got it to 2K likes. So I want to see if y'all can get this one to 3K likes. Shout out to everybody that do hit the like button, that support. I mean, you got to like the, the, like the video so other people can see it. But like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy Upper Class. After you subscribe, remember this. Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me because I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself because you ain't make a fire song. Haha, <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!